To start these notes about drawing secrets, feel free to start by putting your name on your piece of paper. Name and class period. Drawing secrets. Introduction. Drawing is a skill that can be learned by following the five drawing secrets listed below. Let's talk about those. Drawing secret number one. Draw light to start. Always start your drawing as light as possible. That makes it very easy to correct mistakes that happen at the beginning. Drawing secret number two. Use simple shapes to start. Making a simplified version of your drawing is the best way, it's the professional way, and it actually makes it a lot easier to make a drawing. Number three. Pay, pay attention to negative space. It is very easy for students to see positive space, but you need to pay attention to negative space, the space or shapes surrounding an object trying to make those as accurate as your positive spaces. Drawing secret number four. Draw by comparison. Now, what does that actually mean? Now, on these notes, I want to go into a little more detail about drawing secret number four, drawing by comparison. Let's uh, define that a little bit further. Write this down carefully. Compare what you are drawing comma, with a part that you have already drawn. Okay, drawing secret number four, uh, draw by comparison. And that means compare what you are drawing with a part that you have already drawn. Now, on your drawing for today, I want you to practice drawing secret number four, and I want you to make me a list of the various parts of Daffy Duck that we're going to compare with other parts. Okay, so part number one, beak. Now, to draw the beak, we're going to compare it to another, uh, to another part of Daffy Duck and that's going to be his shoulder. Write that down. So, we're going to compare the beak to the shoulder. The shoulder will already be drawn and we'll compare it to the beak. Okay, next, number two, hand. We're going to draw the hand, but we're going to compare it to the beak. The beak will already be drawn, and then we'll compare the hand to see how it relates to the beak. Okay, number three, foot. We're going to compare the foot to the beak, comma, and the body. Okay, so our beak and body will be already drawn, then we'll compare the foot to that. Okay. Next, number four, the knee. We'll compare the knee 
to the shoulder. Once again, the shoulder will be complete. We'll compare it to the knee. Okay, finally, the heel. Heel of the foot. And we're going to compare that to the body. Okay, now part C, the purpose. What is the purpose of drawing by comparison? And I want you to write this down. You may write to be sure the second part to be sure the second part is accurate when compared to the first. Okay, and that is the purpose of drawing by comparison. We want to be sure that the second part that we're drawing compares correctly to the first one. And that's one of the important keys or secrets to drawing well. Okay, finally, number five, Drawing secret number five. Okay, the last one you need to do is this. You need to practice. Drawing is like other activities that the more you practice, the more you will get better at that particular activity. Okay, so now we know about the five drawing secrets, and I want you to demonstrate those during this great drawing of Daffy Duck.